Welcome to the Kingdom of Bahrain, to the Bahrain International Circuit for the season finale of the 2023 FIA World Endurance Championship Round 7. We are ready to go racing in Bahrain. Eight hours will begin as the safety car peels off into the pit lane. We have started the eight hours of Bahrain. Here we go, the eight hours of Bahrain is underway. Sebastian Webby hogs the inside line, 50 Ferrari goes deep on the inside, Miguel Molina lock up from Bamba, tags the number seven into a spin, and through go the Ferraris, their second and third. Fourth place is one of the Porsches, number seven must win the race with their teammates down in fourth to win the there. title. That's the Van Wall, and it's, a, and it's a one of the Uniteds. And 23. One of the, so 23 and the Alpine that was with them. So watch this, the Ferrari puts the Cadillac under pressure there yeah. and locks up. Is that all? Oh, yeah, it's both That's fronts Bamba. up at the same yeah. time. Spins round the, the Toyota and everybody else behind has to take avoiding action off the circuit. Now what happened there? So there's basically, there's a chain reaction as the cars are rejoining the circuit in turn two. That's where you saw the LMP2s coming together with the van wall. So there's Ferrari down the inside. He, he thinks about it. Yeah, that outside front, just locking on the nothing that Bamba could do and round we go. This is the shot I want to see. This is on board the van wall. What happens on the exit? Well, he got clumped there by somebody. It's around one. here. It's, it's around, around here. here. There yeah. we are. So he gets hit on the inside. He gets hit on the inside by the 23. So here's the United come back. Ah, so we see what I mean? Rejoining the circuit. So Both it was 22 and 23. The doctor watches <laughs> on there, though, Valentino. So P2's are two thirds of the way through there, Stint. Hypercar about halfway in. Here comes Conway on Jeb and John Eric Van with the inside line, but Conway using the grip and sweeping around the outside. Will Stevens down the inside of Michael Christensen, who has a big lockup in the battle for fourth. So watch this, Christensen's going to get the run here on the exit of turn two and three. This is quite a common sight through turn one and two, so Stevens got to hang on to this one. Now on the inside, the drag down towards turn four. He does hold on to it. Christensen's going to try and cross the line once again to appear on the inside. Yeah. This was nice from Conway, he took a really nice line through six, seven, yeah. lined himself up for turn eight. Nicely done there by Mike. Stevens got gone by. For it. Oh, and he's gone straight for it. Big effort from Conway. He's not taking any prisoners, is he? Turn eight. Ooh. Pinches the car in tight. He can see what's happening here. And watch the run he's going to get through turn two on a more open line. Up to fourth place has gone Mike Conway. He's got ahead of the 50 Ferrari. Yeah, so maybe we'll have to set ourselves in the pits as well. And Albert Costa gets the car rolling again. But giddy up, come on, baby. It's not really convincing. Here we go. Now it's on song. It's come up on camp. This is brilliant stuff. Sorry, Mark. It's brilliant yeah, between oh. these two. You know, yeah, really getting stuck in and you know not allowing this fight just to go one way. It's neck and neck into turn six, and oh. he still hangs around the outside. That is ballsy stuff, considering he got a tag off the Prema car that knocked him offline. Traffic coming for this pair as well, still ahead. Who's going to get the, the drag by the traffic here? That was very cleverly done by Yifei. He pinched it on the exit there. And this will be a, hot, a bit of a hot stop for them, quite literally, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The brake disc itself just on fire. I mean, the, the temperatures you see in these brakes uh, up to 700 degrees. Oh, this is the Ferrari fight. This is the 50 and uh, number 38. Yep. The overcut having worked. Uh, oh, look at that. Coming back out in the 51, struggling it's to got warm both up of them. the tyres. Fantastic stuff. Three cars battling for third place. 50 Ferrari with warm tyres takes the advantage. The 38 Jota car gets in front of the 51 car. Oh, bombing. this is how it happened. Oh. I wondered why suddenly he was under so much threat. He just absolutely locked up Da Costa into that final corner. 
Mbappe. Here comes Antonio Felix to Costa looking around the outside on the filthy part of the track. Does he get in part, Anthony? What a move. What a move. It's not over yet because on the exit, the Ferrari's going to get a clean one here. And it's not over because it's going to carry on down towards turn one. The Ferrari is a bit faster in straight line. De Costa's going to go to the inside to defend it. That pushes the Ferrari onto the racing line. The better braking zone for him is who dares break latest. It's Nielsen into turn one. Brilliant stuff oh. between these two. He's got a good run this time. Actually, he's closer to this lap than he was the lap before, and that forces Nielsen to the inside. That was a brilliant oh. move, but not quite. Not enough. But it oh, was, because yes. he braked too late. Nielsen. Forced him into the mistake. Makes a mistake, breaks too late. Through goes Antonio Felix da Costa. Joe to number 38, serving its drive-through penalty for that unsafe rejoin when Antonio Felix da Costa ran wide off the first turn. Oh, yeah, that is correct. Oh. I saw that before oh, and was thinking that didn't look great and was not surprised when we saw that under investigation. We know that Bruni hasn't got the brakes. This surely is going to be easy pickings for Makowiki. All he's got to do is lean on him. Jimmy hasn't got enough to break on in the normal place, never mind late. We know the Ferrari's got the legs and the straight line, and he's done the same move that he did earlier on to car 50. Oh, Giovinazzi turns in, it gets very tight mid-corner. He took to the curbs to Costa to avoid contact. He doesn't want to get a penalty for that. That's great driving. And again, Giovinazzi really tried hard to just cut him out of the deal. And Antonio was having none of that. Great stuff. Well, there is the answer that we were looking for. It's all over. Alessio Picariello has brought the Iron Links Porsche in and they have parked it. So Claudio Schiavone, lovely, lovely chap. So new leader dramatic new leader and it's this car it's the other iron Lynx run car the iron dames branded car it's the all-female squad we have two hours and 18 minutes remaining in this eight-hour race 51 is in six is in eight and seven are in seven. seven's just left well yeah. we said that felix acosta needed an almighty in lap and he was going for that until the uh, the small mistake in turn 10 which put him off circuit it was a 156.5, the in lap. No one else did better than the 157.4. That would be the uh, that would be that mistake probably on the in laps. Meantime, in the background, you can see both the lead two cars in uh, GTM are both on pit lane as well. Here comes. There is 50 in the background on warmer tyres. I know the gap looks big at the moment, but that's going to rapidly come down. This lap is almost a spin there. Down yep. into turn eight. Oh, they did they oh. touch. Unbelievable scenes there down into turn eight. Well, that went well. But still retains the positions. That, that is not going to go down well. They're still side by side. Runs the, car, the other car off the road. What is going on? Well, I'm sure words are going to be said after this one. You know, and there, was, there, was no, there was no way you could keep the car behind on those colder tyres. And uh, whew, that was a close one, wasn't it, into turn eight? I can't believe they, get, they got away with that. Drove off circuit into Drove turn eight. Circuit. Taken avoiding action. Yeah, he's letting him back past that. Yeah, there you go. He thought he had, yeah. Never Driven trust the track. steward's room to come down on your side. Give it Watch away. Watch this again. Watch this again. So he had committed to the he inside. He was off track. He was off track. Yeah, he, he had committed so he over long in advance. Yeah, overcommitted. But oh, look, is he back through again? Yeah, no, he's yeah. back through again now. He's taken it back down into turn one which carries on through maybe into turn two. No, he has to back out of it, Pierre Guidi, but vicious defending, however, down in towards turn nine. Toyota already manufacturers champions. Right, here we go then. Closest Stevens has been so far since coming out the pits on brand new tyres. He had the speed on the straight last time round and down towards turn four. He's got it again this time. He looks to the inside, late on the brakes. You see the smoke pouring off. Inside, can That's he hold like, the line? Yes, he can. That's Beautifully like done. Deploying DRS, he just went by him, used the toe superbly up to fourth place. Right, and we did see there, there is the Porsche got by up yeah. the inside of the Ferrari. Uh, now having to defend as they come to the end of the lap. Now we'll see whether or not this Ferrari's got the ponies on the, on the, uh, the front straight.
I oh, think the oh, leader. what's going on on the left front? It's not changing. 31's got a problem as well. This could be drama in the final lap. Explaining to the boss down at WRT, Vincent Voss, exactly what was going on in that pit stop. And those are our very comfortable championship leaders as well. Well, it's been clockwork here so far, hasn't it? Absolute clockwork. I'm willing to lay a couple of quid on the fact that he will be Angola's first ever world champion, possibly in any sport, but certainly in motorsport, not the first world champion from Africa in motorsport. I can certainly think of one in Jody Schechter. Not catching you anymore. Come on. 12 laps, 12 laps. Vamos. Yeah. Oh, big lock up in front of the race leader. There's the bad luck that he just avoided. Exactly. That's a bullet dodge. Exactly. How did you know that was going to happen when you're in the car eight right, with the cars <laughs> about to spin? It just it's out of your control. Oh. The oh, look at that. Oh, that's a first rise. Come on, ladies, be careful, be careful. Last lap ever of GTE. Are the Iron Dames going to do it? WRT going to win their fourth consecutive race here in LMP2. And Brendan Hartley is heading to the checkered flag. It is going to be race win number three for the number eight Toyota. They will take the championship. 41 WRT, Louis Delatraz leading LMP2 to a team 1-2. The chequered flag will wave. Victory in Bahrain for Toyota number eight. Sebastian Buemi, Brendan Hartley and Rio Hirakawa. They are the drivers' champions. Toyota go 1-2 with the number seven car, disappointed in second place in the race and in the title race. It's such a nice feeling with Rio, Seb. I think we've worked really hard for this all year. Le Mans was, was tough to take, but it's been a pretty faultless year. Other than that, the, the team's been setting the benchmarks. Um, but yeah, actually, the, the other cars were, were very quick at the end. We, we took a bit of a risky strategy yesterday by putting those medium tyres and Actually, we put them at the end and we weren't very quick, so I'm very happy there wasn't a safety car. Otherwise, I don't think we could have held on to some of the other cars, but we did the job and I'm um, very happy. Toyota, the dominant force in hypercar in 2023, but their rivals have closed with every race and with a year's knowledge under their belt. Ferrari, Porsche, Cadillac and the newcomers will all offer a challenge in 2024. It's a fourth straight LMP2 win in Bahrain for Team WRT. Rui Andrade, Robert Kubica and Louis Delatraz taking the chequered flag for a Team 1-2. And that means that the team's champions again are WRT, the final champions in LMP2. And Rui Andrade, Louis Delatraz and Robert Kubica are the drivers' champions. A deserved title for the team and the driving crew as LMP2 bids farewell to the World Endurance Championship. The last ever GTE victory goes to the Iron Dames. A first ever FIA World Championship race win for an all-female team. It's been a long time coming Effort and heartbreak are part of motor racing, and so too is jubilation. Making history and inspiring hundreds of thousands to follow in their footsteps. The Iron Dames bid goodbye to GTE on the very top step. Corvette, the world champions, they too will say goodbye to the World Endurance Championship as they race exclusively in America next season. Lots of changes will greet us in 2024 that starts in Qatar. Eight race weekends and a field exclusively filled with hypercars and GT3. We'll see you there.